In today's video, I'm going to throw a theory into your face like a big juicy whipped cream pie about something that may have been in the works for many years. This conspiracy theory might just be one of the out there conspiracy theories to date regarding NASA in the United Nations. Now before we get into that, if you are new to my channel and you're wondering what the hell is going on, I am a horror artist and what I do is I delve into conspiracy, scary facts and true crime videos as well as other horror art related videos and I draw something to the disturbing cases or the disturbing information that I am reading. So my biggest loves in my life is drawing and drawing horrible things and also conspiracies and true crime and all that so I like to put them together to bring you hopefully a unique experience if you are an, an arty person or and, well and you like all that creepy stuff well like subscribe tick all that shit that you need to to never miss one of my videos now that I've said all that let's get on with the video now the conspiracy theory that I'm going to be talking about today is called Project Bluebeam. Now if you don't know what Project Bluebeam is, it's a conspiracy theory that came from a man named Serge Monast. He released a manifesto in 1994 that explained what was going to happen in the future here on Earth. Project Bluebeam is apparently a four-step project that was created by NASA and the United Nations to allow the elite to create a simulated new religion that will be the only religion on Earth because all the others will be abolished after they project holograms into the sky to stage a quote unquote second coming of Christ illusion that will make everyone believe that it's real and they will have to join. This is where the Antichrist will lead this new religion and to start the new world order. Now the first step of Project Bluebeam is to create fake earthquakes and other quote unquote natural disasters that will unearth relics and so-called evidence that will trick people into thinking that everyone on earth has been mistaking religion for something else. And with this so-called hoax artifacts, it will then shut down and disprove all religions on earth. Now these quote unquote earthquakes will take place in certain locations around the world to make it more authentic. If you don't already know, Hollywood has been creating movies for years about uncovering relics and basically desensitizing us to certain things. So when they happen in real life, we will be supposedly more understanding and think it's just normal. Now step two would see the best theater and light production show you will ever see in your life and it will be beamed into the sky using highly powerful technology to create holograms and 3D images. It will show everyone all the religious gods example Buddha, Jesus, Muhammad, etc. merging into one almighty quote unquote God. Apparently space-based projectors will be able to beam all this around the world and in all languages. Then this new God will talk to everybody over all over the earth at the same time. So get your blankets, pack a dinner or lunch depending on where you are in the world get some popcorn, drinks, and sit back to enjoy a cinematic experience that will never be seen again. And sorry, Hugh Jackman, but it appears that this will be the greatest show on Earth. The third step is now where they will implement mind control. Telepathy will be apparently used to convince everyone that the voice is talking to them, God's voice, from inside their own minds. This will be achieved by a wave that a telephonic communication device will project. 
They will take control of devices, for example, PCs, phone lines through optic cables and coaxial cables to create poltergeist activity and satanic ghosts in your own home or in your own environment to send people to suicide, murders and psychosis. This will be like a purge. And finally, step four will be the panic of everyone on earth and this will create fear to then control the entire earth by staging such things as alien invasions with said holograms to just freak people the fuck out and then the antichrist and new world order will be the only ones that will save us from damnation as they will claim monast even said that they would have a financial crash that will then enable the powers to be to take away cash money physical cash money and install their own electronic cash system now let's delve into Serge Monast a little bit in a nutshell. Now Monast was an active member of the Social Credit Party in Canada in the 70s and 80s and in the 90s started coming up with the New World Order conspiracy. He stated that the New World Order was nothing more than satanic it is not just a crazy paranoid delusion and that the elites are planning a one world identity for all. He founded Free Press Agency, which is where he started publishing theories about the New World Order. He also suggested that the New World Order had tried to be implemented several times before, but has failed. Around 1995 to 1996, Monast was allegedly wanted by the authorities because of being involved in a quote-unquote networks of prohibited information. Apparently his two kids that he homeschooled were taken away and put into the education system and some theories even say that his kids were never seen again. Monas died in December of 1996 at the age of 51 of a heart attack but his death was reigned in suspicion due to being in jail the night before. Apparently Montas had no record of a bad heart and was healthy so theories floated around that the Project Bluebeam group having the technology to give people artificial heart attacks to kill a healthy person so his death was speculated to be murder. Now that you have let that information absorb and sink in, what do you think? Do you think that this theory is plausible? Now, what I have learned in history is that if someone is targeted and is killed in a sort of suspicious way, I do believe that they were onto something. But a lot of documentation is being publicly released and that seems to be a little bit sus in itself. Sometimes I do believe that the government does have an agenda in releasing certain documentation, whether it's falsified or it is true, because I believe that they do that on purpose to then uh, make us think that they're going in this particular direction and then they go, oh no, we, are, we would never do this. And then they would appear to be, you know, good Samaritans and uh, yeah it'd be that'd be an illusion as well but i i do believe that um you know something's going on in 2023 is going to be very interesting now if this was something that was going to happen um and they did beam this sort of stuff into the sky i personally would not believe it i would still want more proof that uh, we are, you know, we are being invaded or, or this so-called God is real, I, I still would not believe it because after the three years of this complete clusterfuck of absolute fuckery, I don't believe anything.
But tell me what you think. Tell me, do you think if this conspiracy is feasible? Uh, have you heard other things that I haven't mentioned? Or do you think that this theory is complete, just batshit crazy? I want to hear everyone's opinions. I love hearing what people think about this because I sit on the fence with stuff like this. I don't believe it, but I don't not believe it um so it you know i i sort of prepare myself for all you know everything that could be thrown at us because of you know certain things that are coming out now like as far as i'm concerned i don't know why the elite would want to destroy us if they are going to go down that track because basically without us uh they would they would fall and they would not make any money as far as i'm concerned we are the ones that have created who they are because we buy their products and we buy into their shit so yeah i don't know it's we just have to wait and see don't we we just have to wait and see so the illustration that i have done for today um, for today's video i I, I don't know about this illustration i'm sort of on the fence with it i'm not a huge huge fan of it but um there's elements of it that I like and I just wanted to do like a demon demon type um, creature coming out he's basically a sort of um, either being absorbed into the ground and then there's hands coming up uh, to then for these people to you know worship that there's blood everywhere because it sort of betrays that this is a forced worship this is untrue and i think there's going to be a lot of bloodshed that will happen if something like this did happen in reality there would be there'd just be so much bloodshed and i wanted to portray that in this illustration with people's hands coming up they're rising and this thing is sinking into the ground to sort of stabilize itself and sort of say i am a permanent fixture you believe in me um and yeah this is the new world order type you know type shit so um i tried to uh, make it as gruesome as i could and then i wanted to portray the brainwashing in the so-called tel telepathic type stuff that they're going to beam into our heads with, heads with all these weird sort of tentacles coming out of this monster and yeah it's basically going into going into something so blind and so just yeah just being terrified and having to surrender and that's and that's what I'm portraying in this in this piece. Does that makes sense. I hope it made sense. Next week's video is a Christmas video, so that's going to be fun. So I am out of here, and hope you, hopefully you enjoyed that conspiracy theory that I just spoke about. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.